It was a very busy day at Silver Hatch, as everyone got ready for the safety inspector's visit. Don't worry, Mr. Carburetor. Everything's under control. Yes. Oh, Malcolm, be a love and go and check the safety cones. Safety cones? Uh, right. Clean up any oil spills in the workshop, will you? Then find the Silver Hatch safety certificate. Without that, this safety inspector could close us down. Right you are, Marshal. <laughs> tintle, Tintle! Hey, watch this! <laughs> hey? Whoops, I gotta go. I'll see you later, buddy. The safety inspector will be here any minute, and this place is a mess. Sorry, Marsha. Oh, someone needs to check the first aid kits, and oh, oh, where's the fire extinguisher gone? Oh! What's all the fuss? The safety inspector is coming, whoever she is. Two more carrots! <gasps> The safety inspector's worse than Mr. Carburetor on a bad day. Ooh, no, 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 no. Everything has to be perfect. You better watch out, Rory. <laughs> what if the safety inspector finds something wrong with me? Well, she might stop me driving. I'm going to hide away till she's gone. <laughs> oh. I know I put that safety certificate somewhere. Maybe it's in the workshop. Oh, what's Marsha going to say? Where is it? Things were Where better it? run in the good old days. Back then, things ran like clockwork. Um, uh, hi, Rusty. How are you? Hello, Rory. I was just remembering the good old days when cars were cars and caravans were caravans. Oh, grand times. Oh. Well, tell me about them, Rusty. Rusty? Oh. Rusty? Stop it! Get off! Please! What am I playing to watch? Oh, what's, what's the matter with you? Give over, Maxie! I don't have your safety certificate! Please, please, please! I have to get it safe now! Big Chris! I told you to clean up this oil! I'm, I'm sorry, Marsh, I'm sorry, but I, I'm busy looking for that safety certificate. I can't find it anywhere. It's doing me head in. Oh, Dinky has escaped from his field and he's on the racetrack. Oh, that's all I need. Big Chris, clean up that oil and find that safety certificate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easier said than done, that. <sighs> Rusty! <sighs> Rusty, wake up! <laughs> Oh, sorry, Rory. What were we saying? <laughs> I was asking you about the good old days. Oh, yes. The good old days. Oh, I used to cruise the open roads, air in me tyres, each hill a new horizon. Wow. I never thought about you actually going places. I just thought you were always parked here, going rusty and full of Big Chris's mess. You're right, my lad. I'm not the caravan I used to be. Me shiny paint is faded and me curtains are all frayed. Me door is kind of broken in a wonky kind of way. I used to live <sighs> the eye life, the caravan to be but now nothing happens to me I remember the days I used to be fine I remember the ways me wheels used to shine but now you can see nothing happens to me I never knew. But you're still really useful, Rusty. Nice of you to say so, Rory. 
But let's face it, I wouldn't really be missed at Silver Edge. But shouldn't you be getting ready for the safety inspection? Uh, no, not really. I'm just hanging around. Oh, I see. Uh, Tinky! Oh, Tinky! Will you get back in your field? Oh, nothing's going right. Marsha to Big Chris, are you receiving over? Uh, Big Chris! Eh? Come in, Big Who Chris. Who said that? Where's that coming from? Are you there, Big Chris? All right, walkie talkie. Press here, press here. What's up, Marsha, love? Have you found that safety certificate yet? Uh, no, but I know I put it somewhere safe when I had my tea yesterday. Over. Oh, can't anything go right today? <laughs> At last! Oh, thanks, Malcolm. Oh. oh no! Here comes Helly with the safety inspector! Oh, that must be the safety inspector! What? She's coming in Helly? She might see me hiding from up there! What would you be hiding for, Rory? Oh, um, well, I'm hiding from the safety inspector. Flash said she might stop me driving if she doesn't like the look of me. <laughs> no, the safety inspector comes for a good reason. To make sure everything is safe for all you cars to race around the track. Really? So I don't have to hide after all? Oh, where's that certificate? Where have I put it? Hey, Big Chris, Big Chris, have you found the safety certificate? I don't know where I've put it. I've looked everywhere. Marsha, this safety inspector's waiting oh. for you. Something about a safety certificate? <laughs> oh. <laughs> We've had it! Are you sure you can't remember where you put it, Big Chris? I'm sorry, Marsha, love, but I can't. I can't remember. I'm wrecking my brains. I can. Oh, well, that's it then. What did you say, Rusty? Big Chris. What did you have for your tea last night? Pizza. Pizza it was Tuesday with a pepperoni topping. Oh, handsome chunks of farmhouse pepperoni. I've never tasted anything like it. Was, it was... Why? Why? Cos you put the safety certificate in the pizza box for safekeeping. So I did. So I did. Well done, Rusty, me old son. Get in there. You are my eyes. Your ears. You are my everything. <laughs> Flesh, what's all this about you frightening Rory about the safety inspector? I think you owe him an apology. Sorry, Rory. <laughs> well, that's all right, Flash. I found it! I found it! Oh, goodness! Oh, there's a bit of pepperoni stuck to it. Come here. Mm. <laughs> Hot or cold, it is beautiful. Well, at least I can rely on Rusty to remember things. <sighs> I'd better show this certificate to the inspector. Thanks, Rusty. You saved me bacon, though, son. Not to mention Silver Hatch. And you saved me from worrying about the safety inspector, too, Rusty. You see, you are useful after all. Thanks, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> safety inspection went perfectly, and Rusty realised that Silver Hatch just wouldn't be the same without him. It had been a busy day at Silver Hatch Racetrack. Big Chris and Marsha had been getting everything ready for the big race the next day. Cars all checked. Yep, all done. Don't worry, Marsha. Everything's ready for the big race tomorrow. Great. Well, I'm off home then. I need an early night before tomorrow. <whistles> Bye. Cheerio, Marsha. Ooh, eh? What a day. Right, suppose I better lock up for the night. Oh. I can't stop! Wait. <laughs> What's going on in there? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it's okay, Rory. Shush, shush, shush. What's happened? What's the matter? I crashed, Big Chris, right in the middle of the big race. <laughs> no, you didn't. You just had a bad dream, that's all. Oh, I can't race tomorrow. I'm scared I'll mess it up. I should just, just like I did in my dream. No, you won't, Rory. Listen, I was about I tell you a story, just to help you get back to sleep. Yes, please. Right, now, uh, 
Where should I begin? Oh, I know. This is a belter. Once upon a time, a little brave red racing car arrived for his first day at Silver Hatch, and his name was Rory. He's a great little car, Mr. Carburetta. Yes, but he's not in the same league as my Maxi. Go, Maxi, go! That's a my boy. This Rory, he's a very young. Maybe he has potential. Welcome to Silver Hatch, Rory. I'm Mr. Cabaretto, the owner of all that you see. H Hello, Mr. C C C Cabaretto. I'll be watching you today to see how you get on. Come on, Marja. Don't worry, Rory. You'll be fine. If you need anything, just give us a beep. See you later. Now you just wait here, whilst I'll go and get a beer ready for you. OK. Wow. I'll never be able to do that. Of course you will. Oh, no. I don't think so. Who are you? I'm Sissy. Do you race too? Yes. I'm off to do some practice laps. But I'll come and see how you're settling in later. Au revoir. Bye-bye. I wish I could be a real racing car. Hey, hey, what's all this about? Oh, because I'll never be brave enough to be a real racing car. Listen, Rory, everyone's nervous on their first day. But don't worry. We'll get you racing in no time, son. Come on! Welcome to your new home, Rory. Hey, this is where my number one star will sleep. Who's your number one star? You are, of course. Oh, thanks, Big Chris. You're all right. Come on, let's have a look at this engine. Oh, that tickles. Hey, Big Chrissy, my oil needs topping up. When are you going to stop tinkering with that little squirt's engine? Hey, Maxie, that's no way to welcome Rory. Oh, sorry. Pay no attention to him. He don't mean any harm. OK, that should do it. Are you ready to light him up, Rory? <laughs> Oh, that sounds good to me. Rory is tuned to perfection. Ha! Little squirt. Hello, Rory! Hi, CC! How are you settling in? <sighs> I don't think I belong here. I'm not a proper racing car. You look like one to me. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you around Silver Edge. Okay. This is Rusty, <laughs> where Big Chris lives. <laughs> oh, hello there. You must be Rory, the new arrival. Just getting me beauty sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. This is the starter's grid, where all the races start from. And up there, that's the commentary tower. Now, I'll show you around the rest of the track. <laughs> Catch me if you can! Come on, Rory! Catch me if you can! Race me! Race you! That's it! Race you! Me too! Better look out! Catch me if you can! <laughs> I want you to do the last practice circuit to check your engines are running smoothly. One, two, three, four, five, go! Oh, lovely, 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 lovely.
fastest car around the track. Well yeah, done, that's Rory. Right. Well done. Well done. Come on. Well Bravissimo, done. Rory. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, not bad, but I wasn't going my fastest, you understand. <laughs> wow. I can be a real racing car after all. Look at that. Fast asleep. I think that story helped. See you in the morning, Rory. No night, so Sleep well. <sighs> morning, everyone! Ready for the big race? Oh, oh, Mamma Mia! I need my oil checked. I have to be. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my oil. What if I don't oil. beat my lap time? My tires are flat. <gasps> I won't be able to glide around the corners. I'm sure I'm going to hit them barriers today. I, I just know I'm going to crash. Don't worry, everyone. It's OK to be nervous. Maybe I can tell you the story about the brave little red racing car. And so Rory told the others how he overcame his nerves on his first day at Silverhatch. The other cars forgot about their worries and started looking forward to the big race. It was business as usual at Silverhatch. Maxie had been driving too fast around Gravel Corner again and had had yet another accident. A message from Mr. Carboretto. He says you've got to stop showing off on the track, Maxie. Oh, Mr. Carboretto doesn't want to. Hey, Big Chris, do you mind? I'm not a set of drums, you know. All right, all right, OK. Having a bit of fun. Mr. Carburetor doesn't want the slow racing cars, Marsha. He was the faster ones that to win the races. You've already damaged your wings and your springs. You don't want to damage anything else, do you? Excuse me. Uh, I've just done a full check of Silver Hatch circuit and... Uh, oh! Oh! oh, yeah, come on! Sorry, I was out of my mind then, enjoying that music. What were you saying, Malcolm? Uh, uh, what was I saying, Big Chris? Uh, I don't know. Oh, so, yeah, that's it. You check the circuit. You've checked the circuit. Oh, yes. Um, there's hardly any sand in the gravel trap. We can't have an empty gravel trap. I'm not having that. If Maxi comes off gravel corner like he did this morning, he'll have nothing to stop his spin. You'd better get it filled up right away, Big Chris. You better get it filled up right away. <laughs> yes. OK. All right. Oh, and, and by the way, have you perchance seen any of my walkie-talkies? I've only got one. and I've, No, I've got two. There's one in the back pocket here. Three? There's one down here and I'll... All right, I've got three. Three, then. <laughs> uh, Big Chris? Yeah? Oh, and another one. Four. All right, I've got four. I don't, I don't, I don't know how they get here, Marsha. I do not know how they get here. Oh, I do, Big Chris. You like to squirrel them in. <laughs> Big Chris. Never mind laughing about walkie-talkies. Where am I going to get a load of sand from now? Oh, I know. You can get it from the seaside. Hey, that is a belting idea, Rory, my son. Well, ask Blugger. He can carry it for us. And I can help you to shovel it up. Rock on! Anyone seen Big Chris? Where has he got to? He's gone to the sea. He's gone to get some sand. He had the starter's flag last, and now I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> Along the beach. <laughs> I've got a better idea, Rory. Let's build a sandcastle. Come on, I love it. Oh. I love the seaside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Pile it on. Pile it on. Pile it on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't hear enough of it. At the seaside on the beach, we like to play. We, we like to mess around a lot and have a lovely day. At the seaside on the beach, we like to be. To have a laugh and giggle and a race beside the sea We can dig the sand and build a castle ground There's one more thing! Don't forget the flag! At the 
Seaside on the beach is where we went To have a laugh and giggle with the sun out on me head At the seaside on the beach We like to play, we like to mess around a lot And have a lovely day Hey, 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 where's me sun at? Right! I'm off to check the track before Mr. Carburetta arrives. We better make sure Big Chris fills the gravel track before Masha gets to it. Wait for me, Drifter. Fantastico! Now I can entertain Mr. Carburetta all by myself. Wow! Hey. That's fantastic! Oh. It's the best sandcastle I've ever seen. Big Chris! You'd better get back to Silver Edge with the sand right away! Mice has gone to inspect the track! Oh, uh, start loading, Plugger, start loading! Oh, oh, stop! We can't take the sand from the beach! Other people would be really sad if they came here and there wasn't enough sand for them to build sand castles! I suppose you're right, Cece. I didn't think of it. I just got carried away in all the excitement. Um, we need to fill that gravel trap, though, before Mr. Carburetta arrives. What are we going to do? Uh, um, maybe, maybe Farmer Green will have some sand at his farm we could use. Yeah, come on, let's go. <laughs> huh? We'd better not leave that here. That gravel trap's still nearly empty. What's Big Chris up to? Oh, it was lucky that Farmer Green had some sand. Come on, Plugger. I know you're ready, but put your foot down. We've got to shift this sand and fast. Come on. <laughs> Big Chris. Come in, Big Chris. Are you receiving me? Uh, hello, Marsha. Uh, hello, Mr. Carburetta. Uh, where's the Big Chris and the other cars? Uh, uh, Big Chris took the other cars for a run along the beach. Uh, at the beach? Oh, it's a not a holiday. I hope he's not letting them get the sand in their engines. No, no, no. Big Chris thought you might like to see me do a solo run, Mr. Carpenter. Yes. See, I think I do. Excellente. Marsha, flag a maxi off. Um, I can't. Huh? And why not? I, I, I can't find my flag. That's why. Huh? Maxi doesn't need a flag! Just how fast I can go! Stop, Maxi, stop! Oops! Uh oh! Ay, ay, ay! I can't uh, look! No! <laughs> yes! 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 A big crease? That was a brilliant idea to lay sand down on the bend to stop my maxi getting broken again. Oh, it's just a little idea I had while we were at the seaside, Mr. Carburetta. <laughs> so come on, I want to see all of my beautiful cards in action. Marsha, have you got the green starter flag ready this time? Oh, um. Thanks, Rory. I you're my number one star. And so the race started, exactly as it always does at Silver Hatch Racetrack. One, two,
Big Chris had been out singing karaoke, and it was very late when he got home to Silver Hatch. Oh, I'm absolutely oh, shattered. Somebody's going to be tired out in the morning. Malcolm, this book by Murray Walker is fantastic. Nobody beats him when it comes to telling you what's happening in a race. He is the master of the microphone. Don't let Big Chris hear you. He thinks he's the best race commentator there is. Please, will everyone come to the pit lane immediately? Mr Carveretta has an announcement to make. Ooh, sounds important. <clears throat> Attention. Today, a track inspector is a coming to check out the Silver Hatch. If he likes what he sees, he gives me the three star certificate. But if he doesn't, then he could close us down. <gasps> I want to show him all the cars in action. We put on the big, spectacular race. The inspector will also be checking on the race commentary. Big Chris, it's very, very important. You do a fantastic job of telling the story of the race. Big uh, Chris. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had a bit of a late night on karaoke. All right, Mr. Caesar. You carry on. Don't mind me. Don't mind yes. Me. As I was saying, a bigger Chris will. <coughs> bigger Chris. Oh, he's a gone a baby buys. <laughs> we have no commentator. What are we going to do? Why don't we send for Murray Walker? He can tell the story of the race better than anyone else in the world. Oh, Flash. I love you. Masha, send for Murray Walker. Pronto. Oh, big Christine, this is a very exciting <laughs> Murray Walker. I think he's stunning. He's like the George Clooney of his generation. Psst, psst. Big Chris, wake up. Oh, oh. Hey, what am I on? Oh, on. Look, look! He is heavy with Murray Walker! Oh, this is Murray Walker. He is, uh, how you say, very cuddly in this nice jumper. I hope I can get his autograph. Welcome to Silver Hatch. Oh, thanks. I I've heard a lot about it, Mr. Gearstick. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's a Mr. Carburetor. Anyways, bigger Chris, this is a Mr. Sorry. Murray Walker, the world's greatest race commentator. Well, you That's me. I'm the world's greatest commentator. Not today, Big Chris. Flash, show Mr. Murray to his commentary box. Mar Marsha, get the cars ready to race. Yes, Mr. Carburetor. This way, Mr. Murray, sir. I'm the race commentator at Silver Hatch. Chris, we needed a commentator who won't fall asleep on the job. Yeah, well, I, I, I know what you're saying, sir, but... Oh, spin my spanners. This is bang out of order. Uh, Mr. Carburetor... I believe you have been expecting me. Not now. I'm busy. It's the track inspector. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Would you care to inspect the cars before the race? This way. <laughs> Here. You all right, big Chris? No, I've lost my job. Here you are, Mr. Murray. Some budgies just to make you feel at home. Gosh, thank you. You've really pushed the boat out for me. Ah, time to get started. Just wait till you hear the race commentary, Mr. Inspector. It's a world class. Hmm, we'll see. So, here we are at Silver Hatch. The car's on the grid. It's one light, two lights, three lights. Rory gets away first, Maxi on the inside, CC tucks in behind him. Yes, it's a great start to the Silver Hatch Grand Prix. Oh, 
This looks a lot of fun. Lota, you can't! <laughs> Everyone gets a chance to rise at the Silver Hatch. A good breakfast. That'll set me up for the day. What do you need? It's Rory leading, totally in control. But what's this? Breeze is coming up on the outside. I'm not Five listening. Words. It's in this sandwich, have you heard this? <laughs> and it's Loda leading the chasing pack as they approach Tunnel Tunnel. Loda has pulled up. Absolutely incredible. He's out. Loda is out. Ooh, I won't fit through there. Now Rory takes the lead for the first time. Uh, apart from when he was in the lead earlier in the race. Or is it Drifter? Who is the orange car? What's he on about? He's talking up with rubbish. Drifter is coming what the was the that? Well, I what's the half the in it? Word is with, with half the racing on, there's Not still so half the to go. It's the microphone. Let's see. She go uh, haywires. <laughs> Masha! Stop the rain! Uh, uh, Mr. Mare, <laughs> you talk like a tangled spaghetti. The track inspector no understand a dicky bird. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'll, I'll calm it down. <laughs> a fantastic. It's, it's OK so now, Mr. Inspector. inspector. I, fixed I fixed the commentary. Restart the race, Marsha. Ready, go! Back on track. Maxi is really motoring. This is unbelievable. James has blown the whole race wide open. The Silver Hatch Grand Prix has gone mega. Words fail me. Aye. This is quite me incredible. And I've never seen oh, anything like it this. in the whole world. Calls life. himself a world class commentator. Rory's in trouble. His engine's boiling over. No, no, wait, it's just his cap flapping in the wind. This I love that. OK, here we go. And I'm the commentator here. Yeah, and I'm taking over, buddy. All right, this is Big Chris, your new race commentator. Oh, there's that biscuit left there. I'm the professional, unless I'm very much mistaken. This Rory track ain't big enough for the both of us, Walker. Good job. Whoa. Right, where are we? Oh, it looks like Rory's in the lead. The silver hat. Oh, my God. I've got the microphone. I've got the microphone. Uh, uh, who's got it now? I am what me. is I well going start on? Packing. Who's, the, Who's the, commentator? the commentator? Neither Who's the of you. You are both like a big kid. No, he is. No, you no, are. No, you are. are. No, no, I've are had me. enough. Molcom can take over and let Molcom? us know what is he going on in the see. race. Sorry, Mr. Carabretta. <laughs> it won't happen again, yeah, please. I, I'm sorry, too. The important thing is to make sure the track inspector gives us our three-star certificate. Why don't you both share the job? Good, Good idea. idea, Rory. The cars are really burning on the track. Now I'll pass you over to my good friend, Mr. Berry Walk. Thanks, Big Chris. It's the final lap and it's Maxi in the lead. And look at that! Still Rory's come out of nowhere! I've never seen anything like this in the whole of my life! And Rory wins! <laughs> what a fantastic race! And what a fantastic commentary team we are, Big Chris. Murray Walker <laughs> was right. The commentary was brilliant. The track inspector could at last understand every word. Silver Hatch was safe. He handed Mr Carburetor his certificate <laughs> with three gold stars. Tension was in the air. Everyone was on the edge of their seats as Rory and Tintop raced around Silver Hatch Racetrack. <laughs> They're going faster than your meatballs at supper time. Oh, you say the nicest things, Tony. It's too close to call the wheel to wheel. Hang on. What's Flash playing up? Flash, get off the track, you crazy bunny. Let me the track. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look all right? <laughs> did I win? No, you lost! <gasps> and what you did was very dangerous. So I don't want to see you on my racetrack ever again! 
again! Oh, Mr. Carburetor, sir! I was only trying to build a tire swing on my train. Don't throw me out, please! <laughs> this is a race track, not a playground. Everyone here has a job to do, and they do it. So, bye bye, Bunny. <laughs> now you'll drive Mama home carefully, James. That is the idea, Mr. sir. Uh, Mr. Carburetta, sir. Um. Could you give Flash one last chance? This is a, the tenth last chance he's had this month. I know it is, but what about if he does a job? Like, um, being a marshal? I'm sorry, Biggie Chris. <clears throat> what? I think Biggie Chris is right. <gasps> Everybody deserves a chance to shine. Oh, thank you. Th thank, thank you, both of you. Really appreciate it. To give you this, it's the photograph album I made from when you were a little boy. See you tomorrow. Home, James. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I like photographs. Let's have a look, see. Uh, certainly not. Uh, haven't you got a bandit to mend? And a rabbit to put through his paces before the big race tomorrow? Me? A proper marshal? You'll be great. Well, maybe not that great. If we're going to make Flash into a proper marshal, we'd better get started. Right. This is the checkered flag. This oh. is waved when the winner crosses the finishing line. Yeah, right, checkered flag. And the red flag is waved when the race has to be oh, stopped. I don't like the red flag. The yellow flag means danger ahead. So slow down. Danger! Danger! Oh, right. Now let's see if you've been paying attention. <laughs> Mr. Flash, big, they're talking to me. Flash, you got me. Over. Sorry, you'll have to speak up. You can be on our side. Come on, Flash. You can be on our side. <laughs> Who's the Barney? I'm the Barney. Who's the Barney? Oh, that's me. <laughs> Wonderful days. Oh, I had a, such a fun when I was a bambino. <laughs> and I was uh, just a little bit naughty. <laughs> OK, Flash, get this right and you're ready to be a marshal. Flashy, you go far, son. Ready, Flash? Flash is ready! And uh, so am I. Uh, hello, Mr C. Well, here he is. Flash the Marshal. <laughs> and let's uh, see how Flash copes in a proper race uh, situation. Go on, you can do it, Flash. Just remember what I taught you. You can do it, Flash. Well done, Tinsel. I'm pushing forward, Maxie. Good luck, Flash. <laughs> lights. Huh? Remember the lights. Oh, lights. Light. Oh, the lights. One, two, three, four, five! Go, go, go! You beauties! Get in there! I've taught you well. Fuck it! Mm, not the bad. Max is 
League in Ale. The other cars need warning. There's Ale on the track. There's Ale on the track. The cars! You've got to hold that special one on the track. Oh, no. Which colour? Which colour? Which colour? Which colour? Did I do? The flag's the right colour. It's just a little bit late. Oh. That's it then. I'll get my stuff. Well, goodbye everyone. Look after my burrow, Malcolm. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 flesh. <laughs> Bye, Flesh. <laughs> Light them up for me, eh? Light them up. I'll fill it up some. Hey, Flash! Hey, wait! I can't, Mamma Mia. I've got to go. Go? This is a nonsense. Hold on to my umbrella. Umbrella, James? Certainly, Mum. Where are we going? Back to where you belong. The pits, please, James. Yes, Mum. Straight away. Now, tell me, Bambino, what happened? Now, uh, you were a boy once, remember? Uh, uh, what do you mean, Mama? I mean, you did uh, some silly things. But so long as you tried your best to make things better, you were uh, forgiven, no? <laughs> yes, Mama. But uh, what has uh, this uh, to do uh, with the rabbit? Flash did uh, something silly, but he tried his best today. <clears throat> yes. I suppose a reserve marshal might be handy. <gasps> hmm. Okay, Flash. You can stay. Oh, I can stay? <laughs> All of this is on the one condition. <laughs> Hiya! I thought Mr. Carburetta said this was a racetrack, not a playground. I know. I know. Look at him. <laughs> like a big kid. Come on, come on. I don't want to go, you know. There's other people. Oh. My turn. And so it is another day of thrills <laughs> and spills at Silver Hatch Racetrack. Oh. Oh. Back. It was business as usual at Silver Hatch Racetrack. Henley watched from above as Rory and the others raced around the track. He wished he could join in too. Yeah! <laughs> wow, that looked fun! It was till Drifter spoiled the race. I can't help it if I can do cool stunts. Huh, that's nothing, Drifter. I can do much better stunts than you. Watch these. <laughs> I wish I could do stunts like that. Hey, Maxie. Yes, yes, I can see you. Stop messing about. OK, you lot, lot. Get, back get back to the, to the pits. pits. I said you could have a race, not do daft stunts. You'll burst your tyres if you carry on like that. This time, I want you to race properly. Oh, sorry, bigger craze. Oh, what's wrong, Helly? Oh, I wish I were a racing car so that I could join in with the race too. Being a racing car is great fun, but maybe you don't have to be a racing car to join in. I don't see why not, Rory. You can race too, Helly. Instead of racing on the track, you can race in the sky. Oh, thanks, Big Chris. If you want to see a real racing car, watch me, not Rory. Hey, I heard that, Maxie. Now behave. Right. One, two, three, four, Cutting cool! 
others, he's a cheating. <laughs> didn't win. He cheated. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He cut the corners, and that's cheating. Max, Max is right. right. I just flew like I always do. I didn't realize I had to go round corners. Cheating's a cheating. But he didn't mean to cheat. It's okay, Rory. I understand. They just don't want to play with me anymore. Oh. Hey, don't you think you've been a bit hard on him? Yes. No! All he wanted to do was join in and feel like a racing car, and now you've all upset him. Come on, let's go and play. I don't feel much like playing now. Me neither. I feel bad. Poor Helly. Oh, I don't know why you feel sorry for Helly. It should have been me that won the race, not a big cheater like him. Oh, I'll go play with Plugger. Plugger! <laughs> Come and play with me! didn't realize I was cheating. If I were a proper racing car, they'd like me. And then I could race properly. Oh, don't be daft. If you were a racing car, you, you wouldn't be you. And besides, you can do lots of things that racing cars can't. You know, that's why we love you, Helly. Just the way you are, son. The others don't. Max is really angry with me. They're just upset because they didn't win. I'm sure they didn't mean to hurt your feelings. They, they, they just get a bit carried away when they're on the track. Especially that Maxi. Hey, come on, let's go off the track. I wish the cars hadn't been so mean to Helly. What a shame. No, it's much better to be nice to each other. Oh. Well, now it's time to be nice to my tummy with a lovely pizza. <sighs> Vegetarian with ham. Mm. <laughs> Did you see that? That's a nothing. Watch this. I'll show Helly who the real winner is. No! Oh, oh, oh. I'm coming, Maxi. Oh, 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 oh. The cliff's not safe. I can't do this on my own. We need help. Stay really still, Maxi. I'll be right back. Dogger, don't leave me. been an accident on the cliff. Max is stuck on the hedge and he could fall. We need to get help. Quick! Oh, no! I'll get Big Chris and Helly. Oh, 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 oh. Big Chris! Oh. Hey, up, Rory. What's up? What's the matter, son? Oh, Big Chris, it's Maxi. He's stuck on the cliff edge. What? Oh, OK. OK, lead the way. Um, I'll follow. I'm following Helly. Oh, Helly! Helly! Okay, Maxi. Help is on the way. I don't know if I can hold on much longer. <laughs> yes, you can. Here they are. Helly! Don't worry, Maxi. We'll get you to safety. Okay, okay. 
Helena, now take it nice and steady. It's crawling now. Don't peek, don't peek. <gasps> oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, no! Oh, well done for hanging in there, Maxie. And well done, Helly. You see, without you, Maxie, he was in real danger. Oh, thank you, Helly. That was amazing. I wish I could fly like that. Why would you want to be like me? Especially when you said I cheated. Sorry, Helly. I was wrong. And no matter who won the race, you'll always be a winner to me. Oh, me, me too. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too! Oh, yeah! Oh, 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 wait! Me pizza! It's still in the oven! Quick, plugger! Step on it! I need to get it home sharp! It's, this isn't even... As Big Chris rushed off to meet another rescue, Helly was happy to be back with his friends. He realised that Big Chris was right after all. They do love him, just the way he is.